Well, hey folks, this is Seven here, and welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Farm Sim 22. We are, of course, on Cavalier Roy's Maple Farm. And we got quite a few hours invested in this little farm. And how's this thing doing? I haven't actually checked the stats in a while. We are out of space. Okie dokie. Well, then I'll tell you what. Let's do something about that. Uh, yeah. Let's go open this up first. Save ourselves a bit of time. Hope everybody is doing well. It is... Ooh! <laughs> that was crazy. Friday morning, here in the beautiful sunshine coast of Powell River, British Columbia. And I had an absolutely amazing start to my day. Thanks to my email. Usually a source of, at best, a mild chuckle. But uh, not today. Today it was a source of absolute amazement. Um, now you guys know I don't use names on the channel unless I've specifically been told, yeah, sure, go ahead, throw my name around the internet. I don't care, I'm famous. Um, but one of their online handles is uh, Fade to Black 16. And. The reason I bring this up, they gifted me a copy of Starfield. Yeah, I, I'm, yeah, I'm just absolutely mind blown. Um, come September, <laughs> guess what's going up on the channel, guys? Yeah, I, I've pretty much, you know, given up on any sort of triple a as they call it gaming um it's it's just insane absolutely insane you know it would be different if i was you know one of these youtubers that was actually making some money on youtube but no lie with even though i put up a massive amount of content i have such a small following that uh, at least that view the videos that I am averaging, YouTube pays you whenever you clear $100, in case you're not aware. And since it's an American thing, um, it, it, it's, it's kind of weird because they allow me to clear it in Canadian dollars, but then the payout is considerably less. But at any rate, long story short, the reality of it is, is I make about two hundred dollars a year on YouTube I, I'm not kidding like every six months or so they send a hundred well close to it there's all the stuff that comes off but um, into my account and right now the price of a triple a title in Canadian dollars is a hundred bucks so yeah that would a lot Oh, oh, you're still draining. Oh, have I? Oh, <laughs> I think I still have it set to uh, the wee little hole in the back. So yeah, that means you know, as far as AAA games go, that's like two a year. I mean, even indie games and small games are thirty to fifty dollars now. You know, so it's. With the cost of everything else having gone through the roof, I pay $2 a liter for fuel here. Um, you know, another of the reasons that I like my little electric scooter so much is because I don't have to spend the money on gas. But everything is, I mean like it is for everyone, it's just through the roof. You know. And being on a disability pension. Well, I'm really, really lucky to be living where I am because uh, my rent is ridiculously low compared to what most places are. 
If it wasn't for that, well, I wouldn't probably have a YouTube channel at all because even those $30 games would be well beyond my reach. So when somebody does something like that, I mean, this is, this is a title everybody has been looking forward to. You know, I mean, this is the people who did Fallout and now they're doing it in space. Yeah, can't wait. But yeah, there you are. So amazing news for me. Huge, huge, huge shout out and thank you to Fade the Black 16. You're awesome, dude. Absolutely awesome. Oh man, I did it again. Stop. Just, just stop. Let's go in here. And let's change this. I think I have to wait till it's all the way down first. There we go. Okay. Now. There we are. Yeah. And they're going, it must be done. And I'm waiting for the box to go back down, but guess what? <laughs> that ain't happening. Alright. Let's grab one more. And I guess while I'm doing shoutouts, big uh, top of the morning to Sooty Farmer, and a big howdy to Old Man 102. And then there's uh, others I don't mention as often. Glider Cat is uh, a channel I have followed for a while. Uh, Michelangelo is another good one. That's my kill angel. Uh, another good. Uh, Good channel worth watching. And of course, there's all my regular viewers. Everybody from uh, the Crazy Quebecer, Delirious, on down, or up, or sideways, I suppose, to be fair. I don't know. Oh, okay. Do not do that. got, uh, I don't know what we got stuck on the edge of the machine there, but that eh, was making it difficult. <clears throat> Alright, so that thing should be about 30k lighter now. Um... Going on. Three, four, five, six. Can't be full. Couldn't be. Huh. Somehow I've uh, shifted it off of the trailer. I have filmed this bin once, that's why that was sort of the first thing that went through my head. When it wouldn't show a tip. But I think we've still got a bit of space yet. There we go. That is the energetic method of closing those doors. All right, now, just because we're here and this is what we're doing, Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
surprises me with the amount of space and stuff that's available that not only holds that many coups. our tip side to the right shall we there we go bye bye good morning watch your head dear there you go We have jammed the lid against the bar there. And you go here, we'll back it up a little bit. There we go. I still have an issues. Okay, we're out of here. Moo! <laughs> Moo! Move. Gotta keep them on their toes. And doors are shut. Alright. That should do it for this one. Oh, how are you doing? Good, 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 good. Still shy on honey. Alrighty. Yes, I'm shy and don't call me honey. Um, oh. I cannot see what's in there. Um... Dang. What do we got back here? Okay, yeah, that slot's fine. Why did I think there was something in it? Whoa, weebles wobble, man. This one darn near fell down. Okay. Let's, uh... Oh, that's close enough, you know? That is close, um... Ooh. Er, er, er. And let's belly on over to the butt weight. But wait. Ah. There we go. Got our tinny winkle pack. And now I can't believe Sooty pays a tenth as much for his water. Man. I don't know what's up with that Cavalier Roy. I think the dude's ripping me off, you know. I really do. Charging that much money for water, dude? Although... Actually... To be fair... The city's playing on a map that has water. I can't recall having seen a single open source of water in this entire map. So yeah, I guess. I mean, if they've got to, you know, if the whole thing's got to be pumped up from uh, underground and such, then uh, okay. There's obviously more expense than just, you know, chucking a pump in the local river and letting it fill up reservoirs. And I don't think it's rained even once in the two years we've been here. So, yeah. Maybe it's just a legitimate expense. Alright, we need... Uh, I want the big ones. Mineral feed, here we go. Customize, yes please give me three, four of those. Good start by, yes. Okay. Okay. Now. Let's put 
put these to their widest position. Yeah, there we go. And now the difference here is is my fancy bag forks have basically got auto attach built into them. Okay. A little closer together. Ta-da! Huh. That's, that's way better than my bag lifter. <laughs> I can do one bag at a time and it takes just as long to get it on there. That's really nice, man. That's really nice. Now... This... Yeah, I really don't think this will work. Merely because of the amount of stretch on the bags. That I don't think I'm going to be able to actually load them on this shelf. Because it's going to be too big a... Too big a package. But you know I'm going to try. Okay. So you're going to have to come up just a little bit. That's what I was afraid of. Okay. How about... Come on, baby. And level. There you go. Ah, uh, rats. Get them all snug together again. Set them back down. Okay. Now, let's not get any of them hung up. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'm special. Alright. Oh, those were mineral feet. I thought that was still the two bags of TMR. Oh, well, hey, look at that. Anyway. That's, uh, that's the most forklifty skill I've demonstrated in a long time. Alright. Now I'm going to, uh, throw caution to the wind. Uh, let's move those into pallet-like proportions. Perfect. And let's see if there's a hope that I can get in there. I don't think this is going to go so well. Don't think it's going to go quite that well. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to actually have room here. Well, that one I can probably get because it's way out in the middle of nowhere. Ah, oh, this is just a disaster. Look at it. What the heck are you doing? What? Oh, come on, that's impossible. Oh, no. <laughs> hmm. No. 
Yes. Oh, this is just not going to happen. Look. <laughs> what the peanut sauce, man? Really? Okay, that one doesn't even register. Yeah, that one doesn't even... Uh there we go. Perfect. There you are, yes, perfect, just... Oh, hero. Just... Alright, don't panic. <laughs> of course, you don't even show up. Uh, and you're the opposite way that I want to be anyways. Just get off the tractor. How's that? We're not going to use this for that. That shed's just not in a place that's friendly to this piece of kit. Maybe I should have kept that little front loader unit. Maybe, maybe. shouldn't be able to carry these anyways. I mean, really? Good, good, good. Buck, 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 buck. So I guess other than the cakery, we're not using our eggs for anything else in particular, are we? It doesn't quite reach it, but that's all right. The other side's got it.
last one on top. It's going to be a light load anyway. Hmm. Yeah, sure, why not? Why not? Get up there before. Did I have it on the back of it? No, I wouldn't have had it on the back of a different tractor. Because this is the only one we've got that will actually uh, have a use for a rear weight. Alright, let's go down to the spinner. No, not the spinnery, the uh, tailor shop. That's it. The tailor shop. Which is saving content. Thank you. Okay. Somewhere down, is it not there? Carpentry, dairy, stupor market. Uh, it's not either of these, that sugar and dairy. Oh, it's right there. Hmm. Okay. So well before we even get to our other farm. Interesting. Meh. Um, oh wow. I run over myself, I'm stuck. <laughs> okay. That was weird. Yee. What is this doing? Oh, right on. Very, very nicely. Good. Looks like all those hours we spend tending and tilling are doing some uh, payout. Uh, is this thing doing any... Why is there... Hmm. got no sunflower seed, so something to consider. Alright, no, it's not this little yard. Is it through here? I think it's this next one. But how do we get in? Ah, I see. A bit of a dirt road. There we go. And we will... tip it here. Okay.
All right, it's now running. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool indeed. Get all those sheep earning their keep. Now fabric's worth pretty darn good money. At least it has been on every other map we've tried. So I would think that refining it even further should make for some pretty fat paydays. No, it's sunflowers that I want. Wow. Boink lots. Yes. I noticed that our neighboring production facility was missing the sunflowers. So let's go load those in. And then I want to check the big food mixer and see what sort of things it may or may not desire. Ah, that was why I moved those. That's right. Make for a less awkward loading, or unloading at any rate. We're just not going to make it. There we go. I'm not going to be using this even if the pig maker does need stuff. So let's go pop this back. Must be getting fat. I keep getting stuck here today. Alright. Okay, we got pretty good on sunflower, potato, it's corn that we're missing. And yeah, it's because we're still just giving it these things. Eh? Well, not those particular ones. Those are sugar beets as opposed to corn. But, you know. Yeah, let's go grab this. It's not the biggest capacity, but it gets the job done.
we go. output capacity 39,000 I wonder what it fills up at 6, 7, 8, 9, 40,000 no, nope, apparently it's above that because she's still running so let's grab one more load of corn I'm going to go see if I can take care of a particular potato problem Whoa. There you go. Yes. Keep her going for a while. And I'm slowly whittling down our uh, extra supply of potatoes. There we go. That should definitely keep it going for a while. Oh yeah. Why do you keep pushing it further down the freaking road? Huh. 
Well, I don't know that this is going to be a good way to put that in there, so... I know what I can do. Always an idea. Whose time apparently has not come. So... Doesn't help the pigs out a lot, but it does still make some space in the, uh, the mixer. Ooh, we have 48 liters of cake. <laughs> and with that, a stunning announcement. I think we'll call the episode. So... Sugar and flour, spare cakeage supplies. A little bit more flour for us, I guess. Cool. So I do hope everybody enjoyed. If you did, please remember to hit that like button on your way out. Would be much appreciated. Till next time, though. Such an awkward load. Take care of each other, folks. And ciao for now.